Okay, he's out. We're just gonna grab the peel there and pull that off. Lost a little on the front, but you know what? We are actually going to curve the top of this pumpkin a little bit, so that's okay. What I want to do is I want to let this guy come to room temperature, and then I'm going to use a blow dryer on him. Now, depending on the heat of the day, you may not need a blow dryer. Um, it's a little cool in here, so I'm going to go ahead and use a blow dryer to soften the chocolate. Once it comes to room temperature, you have to be very careful. Okay, as he starts to come to room temperature, you, use, you want to use... You want to use low on your blow dryer and you want to keep a good distance, otherwise you will melt your chocolate. You don't want to do that. Just want to move in a little bit. It's bending. See how I'm bending it in? Be really careful. If it's thin, you're going to melt it. take a lot. It depends on, on how cold the day is or how hot the day is. If you want to bend it, I want it a ripple top. You actually can um, just be really careful you don't overheat it. You actually can cut it too. You can take a really sharp Zacto knife and just cut it in, in waves if you want, but I wanted it. I wanted to bend it in. I want to show you how to bend it. Okay. If you make it taller, you can bend it even more so it can come in. But as you can see, this is done. And let me see where his little stem needs to go. There we go. There you have your pumpkin chocolate wrap.